What's up, everyone? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. It is BYU football versus Idaho State for senior day, the last home game of the season, which means it's the last Cougar Canyon of the season. I got to soak this in, you guys. This might be the last Cougar Canyon, but this, this is a first. BYU Radio has brought in, sorry, I just had to get situated, has brought in a pirate ship for their new show, Treasure Island. I fit right in. Today is obviously about BYU football, but I gotta talk about the wins that we had last night. BYU men's basketball takes down Houston, 72 to 71 in dramatic buzzer beater fashion. TJ Hawes against Grimes, final seconds falling away. A hole off the bounce. And BYU women's soccer took down Boise State 5 to 1 in the first round of the NCAA tournament. You were resilient all night, back to back goals in back to back minutes. How did you capitalize on that opportunity? Yeah. Um, we always talk about how dangerous we are going forward, and I just knew that if I could get the ball in the box um, and shoot it, that I could probably score a goal. You play Louisville next. Yeah. What do you hope to build off of from this game going into that one? Yeah, I think just um, keeping up with our strong start um, and just getting after them um, early on in the half. But right now, let's get back to football. Alish into the afternoon, and this is Finau. Austin Lee starts off senior day right with a pick six. That's how you go out at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. Bushman still without a catch in this first half. Here's Simon coming around the corner. Inside the five, he's got a touchdown. First and 10 after the timeout. It is Finau again, and nobody's stopping him. Touchdown! BYU's all-time leading rusher, Packers running back, the one and only Jamal Williams is here. Let's find him. He's tired because he's been doing a lot with a lot of people. A lot of fans are happy you're here. Um, you're, you have pretty great interviews. I've heard you call yourself a mermaid. You're like you're in Frozen. But how are you feeling today being with the fans and the team? I just feel home. Just, yeah, just feel home. It's just a lot of great warm feelings, honestly. It just feels good. This feels good. I'm you sorry, y'all. This music Dude, it's going okay. You can I... dance it out. Dance it out. You're good. We can finish with a little... Ah, no, I didn't like the beat. All right, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> you're good. No, you're good. You got you got to go, but enjoy the rest of the game. Appreciate enjoy it. being with your kids. Yeah. Great talking to you, Jamal. Thank you. J Swag Daddy out of here. Jay First Swag, Swag Kazakage. All of that. Let you know. <laughs> <laughs> remember me. <laughs> oh, we remember you. It's coming into this game. He doesn't drop balls. Ryan has the ball blocked. He actually kicked it into the back of his own teammate, and the Cougars have it at the 25. Wilson going to the end zone, looking for Shumway, and he's got him! Touchdown, Cougars! And what a grab for the senior. It's halftime, and our Cougs are dominating. They're up 28 to three. While I have a minute, I'm gonna appreciate this last time that we'll be in Lavelle Edwards this season. Last home game, hard last one. <laughs> gotta do it. We gotta do it! Our last band halftime performance. Oh, so good. I got to see the Cougarettes perform for the last home football game of 2019. Their last performance here this season. They killed it as per usual. Very active safety in the back end of that defense. Wilson rolling out on third and goal at the goal line. And a touchdown is. When I woke up this morning, I didn't think I'd see a touchdown by Kyrus Tonga. But it just happened, and I love it. Tonga! Our seniors have made the most of their last time playing here at LES. Let me put this in perspective for you. They have combined for 14 tackles, two and a half tackles for loss, two interceptions, one pass breakup, one QB rush, and five touchdowns. Wow. BYU beats Idaho State 42 to 10. And to make things even better, ESPN officially invites BYU to the 
2019 Hawaii Bowl. On behalf of Coach Kalani and these boys here and all Cougar Nation, we'd love to be in Hawaii. Thank you so much. This, this is your coach, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's my coach and he's our coach. Let's go. Kiki, we have to go. You got to let go. I don't want to say goodbye to Lavelle Edwards Stadium for the 2019 season. <sighs> That's okay. Good game. We've had some good memories here. We'll be back here next season for more football things right now with me on BYUSN right now. You know where.